to virtual sprouting stem, powered by PNC's Grow Up Great. Have you ever heard of a hypothesis? It's a science word that helps give a prediction for a question that needs to be investigated. Today, we'll use a hypothesis to predict if an object will sink or float. Let's get started. Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Alina and today with me I have three of my awesome science friends. Harrison, Kaden, and Noah. And today they're going to help me out with our sink or float challenge. Density is essentially how much stuff or like matter is inside an object. And this makes a big difference on whether something sinks or floats. There's also a thing called buoyancy. but we're going to test that theory with a couple of objects. Here we have a golf ball. Now, as you know, golf balls are very bouncy, right? So, if I place it in the water, who thinks it's going to sink? Raise your hand. Who thinks it's going to float? All right, well, let's test it. Go ahead, Harrison, since you grabbed it. Okay. <laughs> well, what happened? It sank. It sank. When something is more dense, it's going to sink. If it's less dense, it makes it float. Very good. Boy, we have an apple. Apple are great treats. They're pretty solid. Who thinks this is going to sink? Raise your hand. Who thinks it's going to float? All right, well, let's see. Kaden, this is yours. So we're going to, on the count of three, you're going to gently drop it in, right? Bye, Apple. One. Oh. Oh. Well, what happened? Did it sink? No. No, why didn't it sink? Well, the secret behind the apple, think about it. It has this really tight waterproof skin on the outside of it. It probably has air trapped inside. Here we have, what is this? A balloon. A balloon. A balloon. Is it filled with anything? Is it filled with anything? Filled with air. It's filled with air. So it has something in it. Very good. Yes, we have a balloon, a plastic or elastic balloon filled with air. Now, who thinks it's going to sink? Who thinks it's going to float? All right, well, let's test that. Oh, well, that's definitely floating. What's making it float? The air inside. The air. So is it less dense or more dense than water? Less dense. Less dense. Very good. You're getting the hang of this. Now our hypothesis is the most important part of an experiment because it, it basically our educated guess on what we think is going to happen. Whether we're right or wrong is entirely okay because that's all a part of, be of being a scientist. On the count of three, we're going to drop it in. Ready? One, two, three. Drop it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm floating. I'm not what it doing. Well, it looks like it's at about a midway point. Why is that? So you would think water, the water probably has the same density as the uh, water, as water, yeah. So normally it would probably be about the same midway. At, uh, it would go in the middle because it has about an equal buoyancy, but it has an outside factor in it. It has an air bubble in there and it has the elastic. So that makes it go about midway, but still have some flotation to it. Well, thank you very much for being my awesome assistant. You did fantastic, and I hope to bring you guys again later, okay? Have a good one, and we will see you next time. What did you learn today? Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time for Virtual Sprouting STEM, powered by PNC's Grow Up Grapes.